In this video, I'm going to show you how to check and adjust the fluid on your 10R80 transmission. First thing you want to do is get your transmission up at operating temperature. Then, underneath the vehicle, take your 17 millimeter open end and box wrench. Make sure you have a glove, a good glove, otherwise the catalytic converter is going to burn. Uh, I have a real good glove here, as you can see. But you just want to loosen it there, and then after you finish loosening it, um, it's going to come out, and it probably will bring with it this little dipstick. Now you want to take this dipstick and of course clean it off first, and then reinsert it. It's hard to get in there; it's a tight spot, and but if you uh, mess with it properly, you get it in there. And you want to make sure it's all the way down in there. Like you see there. This is at another angle. Now you get a good reading on your fluid level. So I actually got a better shot for you guys here. So I couldn't uh, manage to get a good one here. So right about there. If you look closely, it's barely on the bottom, not even in the in the second or third cross hatch. If you look down from the top, very carefully, down there, you can see the dipstick hole. I took a piece of copper like this, ran it down from the top into that hole, sort of like so. But then I changed my mind and. I was going to use something like this in a funnel, but I decided to go with this instead, which is a lot shorter, and it was simpler for me at the time. I took a quarter-inch drill bit and drilled that in the top, and then uh, got back under the vehicle, screwed the top on the bottle, and um, with the tube all the way at the bottom, if you squeeze this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to force the fluid up through the tube and into the transmission. You do that a few times, and then well, your, your bottle's going to be empty. So I think I did it like once or twice, and then I was right about here, halfway. And then I just finished it off, uh, added the whole quart. Uh, it was a little tough because you're down under there, and you're trying to force that through a quarter-inch tube. It's... Not very easy, so maybe suggest get a, a different tube. Maybe a half inch tube would work a lot better. You could even get clear uh, plastic tubing or airline tubing, uh, whatever whatever works for you. Whatever you have laying around, this just saves you from having to pay a Ford to you know check your transmission that they call non serviceable. But in this video, I'm showing you that you can service it. You can do this yourself. It's real easy. I think I did this in about an hour with shooting the video, and that pretty much got my level kind of where I needed it to be, so um, that's pretty much about it. Um, once you finish your bottle off, you check your fluid again, and uh, if you need to add more, add more. I'll be right in the B. In the, in, the, in the middle cross table B. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right there. Sorry about the audio on this. I'm doing it on a cell phone. I'm just learning how to do these videos on a cell phone. But um, hopefully you can see where the center hatch labeled B is there. I uh, hope you learned something from this video and got something out of it. Um, this is a new channel, so I'll be bringing you guys more content uh, with different types of do-it-yourself things like this. Thank you.